Hi everyone, I'm Associate Professor Narayanan Ramakrishnan from Monash University, Malaysia. It's my pleasure to present our topic, Remote Engineering Labs for New Normal and Beyond, Evaluation and Impact. And I would like to also introduce my co-author and co-collaborator of this work, Dr. Pablo, the CEO and co-founder of Slabsland USA. In Monash, Malaysia, I've been teaching uh, a subject called as ECE3073 computer systems. In this subject, I teach about microprocessors and microprocessor interfacing to the third year engineering students in Monash, Malaysia. Like any other engineering subject, these subjects also need, the labs are very crucial. The lectures and labs go very hand in hand. So if any one of these, the students don't get it, they may not be able to achieve the learning outcomes. Traditionally, uh, we have computer system laboratories where there are about 28 uh, PCs in general, and each student will be given a PC, and they will also use a hardware, which we call as FPGA board, Intel FPGA board, what you see here, and they may also use oscilloscope and other electronic measurement systems in the lab to do the laboratory exercises. Around six to seven laboratory exercises we have in, uh, in this period of uh, 12 weeks during the course, when we offer this course. And uh, usually 70 to 75 students enroll this subject for this subject every semester. And uh, three, usually the, the, the duration of the labs per week is about three hours. So these are all the traditional labs used to be. But all of us uh, were going through this uh, pandemic over the last two years. Um, so in 2020, we, we are having for the first time we have been told to go uh, go back home and teach the engineering courses online. So it's going to be very challenging to deliver engineering labs online and to achieve the all the learning outcomes, definitely. So that's the challenge. So how I'm going to deliver this lab online. So that was one of my challenge. Secondly, the students also, as you said, they will usually even in the traditional time or non-pandemic time, it's just about three hours per week. So it's a restricted time. So different students of different abilities and learning. We do not know whether they can cope up within a short period of three hours. So as a solution, uh, in association with the lab slant, we use lab slant, uh, remote lab structures to implement our microprocessor exercises and deliver the, uh, the entire laboratory exercises fully online in a real time world, the students can visualize or operate these FPGA boards from their homes. So the picture what you see is a typical um, lapsland structure that consists of the array of FPGAs. And these are connected to uh, to IoT system to a web server and students can see these kinds of web servers, uh, web interface, and they can actually control them from their home. So um, the link to access this is usually comes from the Moodle I'm going to demonstrate this lab to you. So this is the typical web interface. Now I would like I'm logging inside the one of the options. So for easy demonstration, I already uploaded some of the codes here to demonstrate. We will compile the codes and then we will upload these codes to the FPGA boards that are located in the lab, whereas I'm now sitting in my house. And what you see is a typical um, FPGA board, uh, which the visuals have been captured from the lab. And you can see that the LEDs are lighting up. This is based on the code that was written. But this is a real lead that's happening in the Monash University lab. But we can observe from here and we can even control them from here, whatever we want. We can control the board. So the students learned the entire laboratory exercises and modified all of them such that we could actually. Uh, make them complete. So uh, the that the since they have uh, very easy access that they can do from from their home, you could see that it has impacted a lot in enhancing the learning experience for the students. Especially, they were quite engaged. For example, uh, this is a screenshot what has been captured that how many times the students have accessed these boards during uh, a couple of months during the semester one of 2020. So you could see that whether it is one o'clock or two o'clock or midnight or evening, we could see always the students have occupied these FPJ boards and they're working on. So this shows that they are engaging a lot. And we also found that seven, more than 17,000 times the students accessed this board in 2020 
And in 2021, you could see that they accessed more than 21,000 times. And uh, as you see, once again, whether it is one o'clock or two o'clock, the students are always occupying these uh, FPGA boards and they were learning uh, much better than the uh, traditional time. And I also could see this impact uh, that it has uh, impacted them on their learning experience through the written comments. They were appreciating the, the, the remote labs that was developed, especially during this pandemic. And I could also observe the enhancement in learning from the students' feedback uh, evaluation. Like in this case, uh, 2017 and 2018 and 19 or, non or before pandemic, you could see, uh, for example, uh, in case of how engaging it was or where these activities were helping for the learning activity, for the learning of, to achieve the learning outcomes or how well they are overall satisfied. We could see definitely in 2020 and 2021, these scores are gone higher. These are all in the uh, point in the values of a five point scale. And this clearly shows that there is a, a very much uh, enhancement in the learning experience. All these stories also won us uh, a few awards. Um, one of the first award what we achieved is an international award uh, uh, for the best remote laboratory um, and offer conferred by Global Online Laboratory Consortium, an international body. And of course, I have also gave us an award. I also received an award for uh, uh, from the Monash University of Malaysia School of Engineering. And the, one of the very big award was uh, from the Faculty of Engineering from Monash University of Australia. Uh, we received the Special Dean's Award in 2021. And these uh, stories also came all in the Star News. Uh, we also received the I received a, a small grant to expand further. Um, an education grant from Monash University Malaysia. Uh, 